Hey everyone, it's Brian from Your Paranormal and the co-host of the Our Paranormal Podcast. Here's 13 fast fire questions with our friends, Eric McGill and David Wolver. Three, two, one. First investigation. Uh, private, private residence. What sparked the idea for RU Media? Dave Wolver. What's the most memorable presentation you've given? John Carroll University. What is the location you've never been to but always wanted to go? Well, I can't remember the name of it. Next, uh, I can't remember the name <laughs> of it. Those are the third question. No, it's uh, that, that, that prison out in, uh, that we were talking about in California. That'd be awesome. That or Myrtle. I would say Myrtle. I want to do that too. Myrtle's Plantation? Yeah. Favorite video editing software? That is Adobe After Effects. What is the most effective paranormal investigation technique? Being yourself. What's oh, your favorite? Sincere. What's that? Being yourself, but I believe being sincere. Mm. What's your What's your favorite pre-investigation meal? Oh man, Porter, <laughs> Porterhouse. <laughs> is that what it was, Porterhouse? Well, it, you know, it's so many things. I, I've, <laughs> I've had peanuts. I've had beef jerky. All the all the big hits. Pizza. And, yeah, I've had pizza. I've had pizza. Are you going with pizza? Is that your favorite? What, what, what's, what's I'll, your I'll favorite? go with pizza just because I'm caught. All right. Besides your butt being touched, what's your favorite paranormal experience? Oh, uh, yeah, you got me. Um, I would say I can't think of. I really that was a good one, man. Quick fire, damn it! That was as quick as I go. <laughs> Um, I'm no, impressed. He wants his front touched. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's let's go with Madison Seminary uh, top floor. Uh, something kind of like I don't know. Like it made me see something there. That's quick. All right. Hey, listen. Para pooch is nice and all, but if you had to create one, what would be your para animal? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Um, I like uh, I like the dog. So you like uh, the dog. You're sticking with the dog. I'm gonna stick with the dog. All right. Why is your intro better than Stranger Things intro? <laughs> because it's got uh, it's got me and Dave's name in it. It's got the whole Mad Crew. I don't know. That's I, I like it. It's more personal friends, not coworkers. There. Easy. What's your most embarrassing ectovision moment? Uh-oh. Oh, Madison Seminary interview. I lift the chair and then I farted. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a clip of that somewhere. Really? Made a, who was it that did that? We did an interview and they made a they made a clip of, of you farting. Oh, no, I want to find it. All right. Of all the people you've met, whose mind is the haunt is the most haunted? Probably mine. There's always a story, Eric, and this is the last question. What's the story um, of the couch behind you? This is the couch that D. Dave Oliver slept on two weeks ago. What? Naked. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Buck, buck ass nude. Casting. Whoa. I knew it. I knew it I, as soon as I saw that. Whoa. Oh, Lord. If right. you look at it, you look at it close enough, you know my big ass can't fit on that. <laughs> First investigation. Prospect place. How many people do you think fart during an investigation and lie about what made that sound? Whole cast of ghost hunters. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse, a terrible poltergeist or the OBS video system? Uh, tie. <laughs> Who contributes more percent of the work for RU Media? Eric. <laughs> I win again. How, how did you get started in the paranormal? Uh, oh, now I'm going to be not quick fire. Uh, it goes back to experiences as a kid and then 2010, you know, 
watching shows and thinking to myself, hey, that would be cool. Let's go do that. <laughs> there you go. What's your favorite piece of evidence then? Favorite piece of evidence? Uh, it is an EVP from Loveland Castle from an old episode of Resident Undead that uh, myself and my wife were a part of um, where uh, she was in the dungeon and uh, got overwhelmed and had to leave and after she left there was no one in the dungeon but there is an EVP with a very uh, clear woman's voice that says you get out and it sounded exactly like that Oh Lord! It, okay, congratulations! You just won the lottery, and it's enough to buy a haunted uh, location. So, if you could own a haunted location, what would it be? Oh golly, uh, the Ohio State Reformatory. Besides sage soap, what's the best piece of equipment to use during an investigation? Yourself. What is your favorite item on the bulletin board behind you? <laughs> Um, uh, 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 probably a t-shirt. No, I'll, I'll save it. There is, let me pull this down for you. Since I'm at my office, I've been doing work before we started this. It is a koozie for transfer services at Moorhead State. Ooh. I don't know oh. why it's here. But it's here. But it's here. Hey, listen, uh, who's got the best facial hair in the paranormal community? Tony Santori. Uh, ooh. What's your What's your f favorite brand of truck? Chevy. Whose mind is more haunted, yours or Eric's? Probably mine. <laughs> and, hon <laughs> and honestly, Dave, what's your most, what do you think is the most haunted location you've ever been to? Fairfield County Infirmary. And that's all 13, folks. There we go. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. You can see the full podcast by searching on Facebook, Our Paranormal Podcast, all brought to you by RU Media. This paranormal adventure that we're all on connects us. This is our paranormal community. This is our paranormal podcast with your host, Sean Gilmore. He's worked in the paranormal field for 10 years. He was featured on the TV show Paranormal Survivor that airs on Travel Channel. His passion is creating parity. With your host, Brian Mercer. He's worked He wants to help people start their paranormal adventure or grow their existing one. This is our paranormal adventure. This is our paranormal community. This is our paranormal podcast. It's about supporting. It's about making ParaUnity a real thing because we all need to support each other within our community. And that's what the show has always been about.